Hi everybody, it's Mike here at Tatmok National Park. We're at the entrance to Tatmok National Park. Once I paid my 130 baht, 100 baht for me and 30 baht for the car. Then we'll be uh, going in through the gate and up the hill in front of us towards the uh, first of my objectives, which is a small pond that I like to stop at. To get to the pond we need to uh, travel up about um, 800 metres in vertical height and about a kilometre or so or maybe a kilometre and a half on the ground. So the pond at the moment is uh, quite full of water. It never dries up uh, but I'm not exactly sure how it's fed. Maybe a continuation of the uh, the river that eventually leaves the waterfall. Good place for birds, and also a nice place to stop. I usually stop here on the way down the mountain uh, because in the afternoon the lighting's better and the birds are more active. A little bit further up the road, another two or three kilometres, and we come to a viewpoint which gives a nice view of the um, East Pechabun Mountains, which is where Tatmok is located, and also incidentally where Nam Nau is located. This, the direction I'm looking at the moment, is approximately northeast. I can see if you look closely, about five different um, ranges of hills as we go back. That's pretty good. Normally, especially in the winter time, uh, when there's burning, you look if you can see the first range of hills. So it's quite a good view today, actually. Not a great spot for birds, for some reason, but it's a great place to have your morning cup of coffee. Uh, and if I'm on my own or even with friends, I'll always stop here uh, and enjoy a coffee and uh, take in the view. You do sometimes get uh, the odd raptors flying over for a bonus, but generally speaking, the bird in here is uh, not very good. Don't know why. Mind you, I did see an elephant here once. Does that count? So we're going to finish our coffee and then head on up the mountain until we get to uh, this area, which is the first camping ground. The actual camping ground is um, behind that stand of trees that you can see. But this year, for some reason, they haven't cut the grass. I'm always moaning about habitat, but it's, uh, it's not very passable at the moment. So we'll give this a miss at the moment. Quite a good birding spot, especially in the standard trees that I mentioned. Had a few good birds there. Now if you like manicured camping area, then this area, the second camping ground that you come to, is much bigger uh, and can accommodate lots and lots of people. Really good facilities, toilet blocks, uh, in the plural, um, shower shower blocks, everything you, you could want for a comfortable outdoor camping experience. Uh, they also use this area for um, teaching school kids uh, about the park and nature and what have you. Over there, where we're looking now, there's a stream, and we're going to have a walk across there. As I go across there, you, the two tents um, on my right here are tents that you can actually hire from the uh, National Parks Office. You can hire them and um, lots of equipment as well. Unfortunately, I don't know how much they cost, but I, I know, generally speaking, uh, it's not particularly expensive. A couple of hundred baht, I would imagine. Same price for foreigners and ties as well. 
although you still have to pay your um, entrance to the park fee, which in the case of foreigners is 100 baht, and in the case of Thais is 20 baht. Everybody pays 30 baht for their car, I presume that's some sort of environmental tax. Only one other camper here today. These tents are unoccupied, but in the distance there, there's a couple camping. They've got the uh, the area to themselves. Streams fairly low, as you would expect. There's not been any rain. Well, not any rain recently, I should say. There's been a few months of rain, but that's all gone. Not a bad area for birds, this, and especially for um, flying flyovers from raptors, big raptors. Uh, but the jungle across the other side of the stream, there, there are quite a few birds hang out in there. And on the, the, the toilet block on the right, as I'm walking back up here, there's a blue rock thrush hanging out there this morning. Uh, I've been trying to get a photograph of him, but I couldn't. Uh, I mean, not with a GoPro, with my my proper birding photography. Anyway, enough waffle from me. We'll move on a bit. Uh, having enjoyed my lunch here, uh, and see what we can find at one of my favourite little spots uh, at the side of the um, the river. Now the river runs all the way down from the waterfall at this point. I've actually gone past the halfway part of the park. I, I hadn't intended to do that, but I was so sure to birds I thought I'd try up here. Well, it's a beautiful location this morning, but it's uh, sadly lacking birds. So I'll just let you enjoy looking at the... Uh, the bubbling stream as it goes by. Okay, back down the mountain a bit more now to near that first campground that I showed you. This is up above the campground and it's the sort of headquarters building where the boss hangs out and some of his staff. Um, it, it's also like a visitor centre as well. They've got a few displays inside if you ever fancy uh, popping your head around the door. They'll make you most welcome. I did offer them a load of my bird photographs, but they either thought my photographs were pretty rubbish or they didn't understand what I was talking about. I thought it'd be nice to display some of the birds that um, hang out around here. Good area for birds here as well. The banking on the left hand side of the road as we're going down and the area to the left of the car uh, does contain a few species. I mean, they used to have a peacock here. I don't know where it came from, but I swear it wasn't wild. Just to finish off, um, I've made my way down the mountain now, and I'm about, oh, I don't know, about a kilometre from um, the exit. And this is a viewpoint that I saved. I didn't stop at on the way up. Because I think it's really nice and I think it looks nicer in the afternoon. It's also a good place to see birds in the afternoon. The, the valleys uh, create thermals and it's a good spot for uh, some of the bigger raptors if you're lucky. If not, it's a pleasant view across the Parsak River Valley uh, towards the West Petchable Mountains, which is the opposite side of the valley to here.